Well, all right. So in light of this new caravan coming to the United States, I want to talk about an issue that's not really talked about a lot. Should the military be put on the border? Now, we obviously have a lot of problems with our southern border. They keep telling us there's 11 million illegal immigrants in this country. They've been telling us that number for quite a while now. I'm sure there's more. Um you know, who really knows how many millions of illegal Im immigrants you have? I mean, how can you even really count them because they're illegals? I mean, nobody really knows they're here. If they did know they're here, they would deport them. So uh, in my opinion, it's kind of hard to keep track of that number. It's an ambiguous number. But the point is, we have a lot of illegal immigrants, and that that's not good for our country. It's not good for our country when people break the law and come here illegally. Who knows who these people are? I'm sure a lot of them are great people, but I'm sure a lot of them are people we don't want in our country, and they're up to bad, bad things. So I think we could all agree on a bipartisan level, at least I hope we can, that the less illegal immigrants that come here, that's better. We should control our immigration, not have unfettered immigration. We need to control our immigration, meaning we need to have a strong border. And we obviously don't. So putting the military on the border, I think, is a great idea. It does two great things. One, it takes the military. This is what I think we should do, too, is take military out of out of countries around the world where we don't need it. Why, why is our military in, like, South Korea and Japan and all these other countries? What, is that, what, what does that do for American interests? It doesn't do much, if anything. It does more for other countries. So I want those soldiers fighting for us, not fighting for other countries, not in Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever the fuck they are, Syria. Bring them here. How, actually do something that directly benefits the American people in American society and put them on the border and ha have them aid in border patrol and, and just patrol the border. I mean, it could easily be done. It could save uh, money. Uh, it, it could add reinforcements to the border. And, and, it, and it puts a legitimate use on the military. I mean, what, what's, the, what's the job of the military? It's to defend our borders. It's to defend Americans. And that's exactly what they're doing by putting them on the border. And, and in this wake of this whole caravan thing, I mean, what better time to do it than right now? I mean, I mean, really, border patrol is kind of a part of the military. It's it, They're both very, very closely related. I mean, not directly related. I mean, the border patrol is not going to go fight in a war, but I mean, they both do similar things. And let me just stress this too, that... that the border patrol isn't the only way of, of, of securing our broken border. Just like the wall. Like people say, oh, you know, if you have a wall, they're still going to build tunnels and fly planes and ladders. And, you know, and it's really funny, too. When, when, when I hear people arguing against the wall, they say, well, you know, 40% of, of illegal immigrants come over by overstaying their visas. So a wall wouldn't help. Well, you're making the argument for me right there. So you're admitting that about 60% of people come through the border illegally. So a wall would help prevent a lot of a lot of illegal immigration, and, but like I said, the wall is not the only method of preventing illegal immigration. Just like, you know, enhancing the border the the border patrol personnel is not the only method of securing the border. You need multiple ways of securing the border. You need to use technology. You need, you need personnel. You need walls. You know, actual physical barriers. And yes, they they could use a ladder, but but what's easier? Uh, running o across a border or crossing a river or climbing a 50 foot wall it takes a lot more time and, and a lot more energy to climb a 50 foot or 30 foot, 30 foot wall than just simply walking across the border it's going to give border patrol a lot uh, uh, more opportunity to, to catch that person um, so you, we need to do all we can to secure the border because if we have a more secure border and we actually catch the people coming across, that will decentivize people from coming across the border. If, if it's really easy to cross, then pe more people are going to try and cross. But if it's if, if most of the people that cross get caught, then it's going to decentivize people from, from coming across. So we, we need to do all we can to secure our borders because it's been a disaster forever now. And... And the Democrats obviously don't want to shut down the border because bringing over illegal immigrants, and really legal immigrants for that matter, gets them more votes.
And really, the Democrats are the party of illegal immigrants. They, they, they used to support securing the borders in the days of Bill Clinton. I mean, 20 years ago, Bill Clinton sounded like Donald Trump. But now the Democrats sound like radicals when they talk about illegal immigrants in the border. And it, and it really disgusts me that just because Trump's against, for having a strong border, that the Democrats automatically jump to a po a, a opposing all of Trump's viewpoints because they all they do is oppose Trump at every stop, no, no matter what he says. They're like little robots. They, they, they can't support anything he does. And that just shows you how political politics is and how how uh, politicians will, will just take viewpoints to score political points and to get elected and to get more power and, and to get positive press coverage and positive PR. So there you go, people. There's my thoughts on that. Put the military on the border. There you go.